Hello and welcome to the second instalment of GAMSA Bytes. Today we're going to have a quick look at a physics style question. Typically we'll be given an equation and a lot of the time these physics questions are really just maths questions, um, masquerading as physics questions. Um, all the information that's required is usually given to you. Um, that's force. Q is for charge, and R is the distance between the charges, okay? And K is just some constant. Again, these will usually be explained to you in the question stem, okay? So we've got two identically charged particles, each of radius r, uh, and they're in contact and attract each other with an electrostatic force k. Okay, so I'm going to underline that sentence, and I'm going to write down the corresponding equation that uh, this describes. So f is now k, so the force is k, so I'm going to say k is equal to, now I'm going to put little k, so that's just a constant that we don't know. And it says that they're identical charges. So that must mean that q1 and q2 are the same. So let's just call them q for now. So it's just gonna be q times q, divided by, and they are a radius of r away from each other. So I'm gonna sub in little r squared. Okay, so from that equation we have this, and I'm just going to simplify this a little bit. It's going to be k q squared over r squared. Okay. Let's choose another color. Okay, so in the next question, uh, well, the next part of the question, it says there are also two other identical particles with the same charge as the previous pair, but triple the radius. What is the electrostatic force of attraction between this second pair of identically charged particles when they're in contact with each other. Okay, so we're trying to find the force. So it says, what is the electrostatic force? Okay, that's what we're trying to find. Let's just call it F, so we don't know. Presumably, it's the same K. Okay, so nothing's changed, so it's still K. Um, and because they have the same charge as previous, Let's just use Q again. So it's Q and Q. But now here's what's different. It's triple the radius. Okay, so we substitute in three little r. Okay, so it's three times the radius. But all of that needs to be squared. If I simplify this, we get K Q squared over nine r squared. Okay, and I can take out a common factor of one ninth, and what I'm left with is it's one ninth times k q squared over r squared. There's a reason why I've done this. I'm going to use this in a different color. If you look at this bit, that's exactly the same as k over here. Okay, so our answer is in fact one ninth, one ninth of k. Okay, and that's and that's a. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. If you would like to see more of these, uh, check out my Facebook page and give it a like, uh, or you can uh, click subscribe. Till next time, see ya.